the anomalous signal. So, what exactly did we hear? The first clue didn't come from a weather satellite, but from the Deep Space Network's 70-meter dish in Goldstone. At precisely 347 UTC, radio telescopes logged a strange transient lasting only 8 seconds from the Andromeda sector. The problem? Its signature matched nothing in the catalogs. The burst peaked at 408 MHz, a frequency once used for old UHF television channels, and far softer than most fast radio bursts, which typically range from 400 MHz to 8 GHz. Its flux density was incredibly faint, estimated at less than 0.5 Janskys. To put that in perspective, the famous radio source Cygnus A is over 7,000 Janskys at the same frequency. This signal was a true needle in a haystack. Radio astronomers were baffled by its clean, non-dispersed profile. Normally, a signal from 2.5 million light-years would be smeared by its passage through intergalactic plasma, but this one was sharp, suggesting a strange source or an unknown propagation mechanism. Furthermore, the signal was almost completely unpolarized, ruling out the highly polarized beams we see from pulsars, making its origin a profound puzzle.